at 10. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Julia Thatcher. Jeff Herndon has the evening off. We are continuing coverage on the temporary winter shelter. The city of Wichita plans to open in the coming weeks near 21st and Grove. Humankind says it will hold 250 unhoused people at the new location, but not everyone in the community is thrilled about this decision. KSN's Derek Lytle spoke with people living and working in the area on the impact they think it will have. Derek? Julia, I talked to someone who just purchased a home right next door to where the shelter is going. She fears it will hurt an already underserved community. I also talked to the owner of Mr. Max Market. He wants people to get help, but echoes similar concerns of making sure this doesn't negatively impact people already living there. Worried for her neighborhood, Janika Jones questions the location choice of Wichita's temporary winter housing solution. How do you bring a homeless shelter next to a girls and boys club? We have to protect both. We have to protect our homeless as well as we have to protect our kids. So you're putting them right there beside each other. I don't understand that. She says opening the shelter in this neighborhood can bring stress for people already struggling nearby. We have to revitalize. We have to get 21st. We have to get that area looking better. We got to get people jobs. And so I'm just not understanding how this was a good decision. Also near 21st and Grove, Mr. Max Market, owned by Quentin McIntosh and his family. He believes the shelter opening here can work. Tom, we can do anything to help the homeless, you know, we're poor. He wants the city to take steps, making sure harm isn't done to their community. And I've seen some of the, when we give out food, you know, downtown in front of the open door and other places like that, I mean, there's tons of trash everywhere, no trash can. Many in the community near 21st and Grove say they found out about the shelter today and wonder why they weren't a part of the conversation earlier. The county commission is meeting tomorrow to discuss logistics like funding, transportation, and their long-term plans. Here for you, Derek Lytle, KSN News 3.